The planet Mercury is on the move. That sucker better not be moving backwards. <laughs> no, thank God we're done with that for about 90 more days. But okay. Mercury is changing signs, going from the sign of Aries, where it had retrograded back into, mm -hmm. into Taurus. So in general, people can look at the things they thought they had resolved. The first two weeks or so in April, they find out, and if they were not resolved, you get to resolve them with a much better outcome than you were thinking you were going to have in April. So... And it's important to know where that's going to happen to each one of us. For Tauruses, it's in their sign. Tauruses kind of had to hold their tongue the last three or four weeks or so and mm. not really say what they were thinking or really say what they were feeling. It was the, okay, sure, I'll go along with whatever, you know, whatever I'm supposed to go along with. But that is no longer true. Now that Mercury is in their sign, they find their voice. And it turns out they got a lot to say over the next three or four weeks or so. Tell it all, Pat. Tell yes, it all. Yes, yeah. Well, no, you know, Tauruses, a lot of times, you really got to provoke them before they say something, and, and, and they've been pretty sorely provoked. So, <laughs> for Mother's Day, you better get her something really nice, is all I got to say. Oh, I will. Now, it's not you that's doing the provocation. So, for Geminis, it is in there. This is a very difficult Mercury and Taurus for Donald Trump. I think this is going to be perhaps one of the biggest challenges of his nascent uh, presidency because. The full moon was in that sign on Wednesday, and, and the repercussions and the ramifications for that. And his best bet is to keep his mouth shut, although I don't know that he can, mm. um, and let things just unfold the way they're going to, and let his friends do battle for him. But I don't think that's going to happen. So for Geminis everywhere, the best thing to do is really have a care with the words you say, because they're not going to taste very good, and you have to eat them later on down the road. For Cancers, 11th House of Hopes, Wishes, Goals, and Objectives. And Cancers are going to rely on their well-placed female friends and solid friends to back them up, to take their side, to help them out, and to let the group of younger folk get the cancer, what the cancer says they want. For Leos, it's in the 10th house of career and public standing. And things that they were dealing with professionally in April come to be now in May, only with a better outcome for them. And they really need to stand their ground. A lot of times I'm a big fan of saying, kind of go with the flow. But in this case, the Leo's in the right. So you really want to kind of stand your ground, given the opportunity. Okay. And, um, for Virgos, it's in the ninth house of the law. Legal matters, educational matters, important matters in a distance. Things also they thought they had dealt with in the April time span come back again, only again with a much better outcome for the Virgos. So, and the Virgo is going to find something written in stone works for them, which is always a cool thing. For Libras, it's in the eighth house of other people's money, sex, death, regeneration, resources, tapping other people's resources to work for the Libra, rather than looking for new ones, finding existing ones, and then, and then building upon them, given the opportunity. For Scorpios, everybody is going to be pointing a finger at them and, and calling them to task one way or the other. And, and Scorpios have to be really careful uh, to, to make sure that they, they side with allies, not frenemies, because they're going to have both of them coming this month. And they need to be really careful who they pick to align their interests with, because a bad move there can end up costing them economically, which is always no fun. For Sagittarians, it's in their sixth house of work and responsibilities. And Sagittarians um, get a whole bunch of new responsibilities, which is something they hate more than anything on earth. That's why a lot of them don't run for president, because it's like, whoa, way too much responsibility for me. But there's some kind of responsibility, and they just need to buckle on down and do the job, and, and not procrastinate, and not put it off any longer. For Capricorns, fifth house of love affairs, children, sports, amusements, pleasures, anything fun, favorite time of year for Capricorns, just to have a good time. Their creative juices are flowing, and it's a very fertile time for them in every sense of the uh -huh. word, so they need to be particularly aware about that, either one way or the other. For Aquarians, it's in their fourth house of home and foundations, and they really need to solidify their home. It's a good time for spring cleaning. It's a good time to plan on, on remodeling your home, refurbishing your home, doing something to spiff up your home to make sure that it is solid and it can support you in every sense of the word, that it's a refuge rather than a place you're afraid to go to. For Pisces, it is in their third house of day-to-day -day living, and they need to do the research themselves. They need to be really careful not to believe what people tell them, that they need to see it for themselves, lay eyes on it, know it for sure, do the research before they take anything or try to take anything to the bank. So, And also, um, there's some sort of short-distance, short-duration travel in store for them as well. For Aries, the last time we're going to talk about, it's about real estate, it's about finances, it's about making more money, it's about find a way to make more money through your words rather than through back-breaking labor. It's sort of a, you need to use your mind to help you make more money. Um, and whatever project you had in mind in April actually comes to be over the next three weeks or so, and it's pretty darn profitable for them. All so right. That's tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac with Mercury, the planet of communication, 
going into the sign of Taurus for 21 days. Sounded pretty good to me. We'll see Actually you next week. Is. See you then. Always a pleasure.